We are here today to tell Will Hodgman that we will hold him to account for his broken promises. We are here today to tell this government that we will not stand by and let them cut 1,500 jobs from our public sector. In March this year, when the government was elected, they promised to cut no more than 500 full-time jobs over their four-year term. They also promised no forced redundancies, no changes to the industrial relations system, and no cuts to frontline services. In July, the government raised the wage freeze concept via the media. The government intended to do this through legislation, not negotiation. Then, in August, when the budget was handed down, there were massive cuts to the public sector, some $150 million a year and 1,200 full-time jobs were slated to go. In September, the despicable Crown Employee Salaries Bill was tabled. This not only included a 12-month wage freeze and increment freeze, but it also handed the Treasurer the power to override the decisions of the Independent Industrial Commission, effectively ending collective bargaining in this state. But despite the Legislative Council delaying their vote on the bill to allow four weeks for negotiations, this government refused to negotiate and sought to immediately sack 861 full-time workers in Tasmania. In October, the unions took a proposal to our members to endorse a six-month freeze with a commitment to negotiate further savings and begin a root and branch review of the public sector. The government rejected this offer within 24 hours. This month, unions applied to the Industrial Commission to arbitrate a wages freeze. The Independent Industrial Commission made a recommendation which unions earn dollars a day for their legal representation. And here we are today, a united collective force of public sector workers and supporters who want their voices heard. Isn't that right? Yeah. this government is behaving, but despite the way they have treated you and all the promises they have broken, I want to ask the union members one question. Would you support a 12-month wage freeze if the government guaranteed to commit all of the savings to reducing the number of public sector jobs being cut and that it would be implemented through the Industrial Commission and not the Crown Employees Salaries Bill. Could union members who support that question please raise your hand? Yes. 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 Thank you. I think that's a very clear, very clear indication of the feeling of the members here today. Now, let's talk about what Hodgman's doing to our schools right now. Currently, it's shameful. That's right. Currently, there are 266 teachers from our schools who are going to lose their jobs. Will Hodgman's cuts to schools will hurt our students. They'll have larger classes, they'll have less choice of subjects. Yep, yep, they'll yep. miss out on support programs such as literacy and numeracy. Yes. Tasmania's future depends on education. Yes. That's why our teachers and parents and education workers workers fought for the Gonski funding and supported by parents in the community sector because we know that Tasmanian schools have never been as well resourced as those in the rest of Australia. This was our kids chance to catch up and get the education that they need to compete in the 21st century. We thought Will Hodgman was going to be a Premier who understood this. We thought he was going to be a Premier who put education first, who put student f students first, but we were wrong. Very wrong. Will Hodgman signed the Gonski Pledge and then he said he would even go beyond Gonski. Right beyond, right the other way. On the 14th of February this year, Mr Hodgman said, we will reinvest in education after Labor and the Greens savaged the education budget and sacked teachers. 
We need to do more than just sign up to Gonski. We need a long-term plan that will make sure our education outcomes are at least at the national average. Did we get a long-term plan for education? No, we got excuses, broken promises and cuts. Will tells lies! He does. Will Hodgman shamelessly promised everything to everyone to get into government. He promised on many occasions that he would not get rid of teachers. In 2012, Mr Hodgman's future directions document said, unlike Labor and the Greens, we won't sack nurses, teachers or police. We'll prioritise essential frontline services over other less essential areas of government. He made a black and white promise not to sack teachers. No ifs, no buts, no pay freezes, no budget emergencies. He has broken that promise and now he wants to blame everyone but himself. We teach our kids not to tell lies. Absolutely. Yeah. has managed to find $400 million to meet his other election promises. So why can't he keep this one? We are on track to lose 266 teachers from our schools. That's up to two for primary schools and up to four for our colleges. It's a serious breach of faith for Tasmanian children and their parents. We're already getting reports about how this will affect our schools and parents will share their stories with you. This is not what our parents and children were promised by Hodgman. Mr Hodgman blames everyone else except himself for these broken promises. He's blamed the previous state government, the Legislative Council and even the Independent Industrial Commission. He's blaming you for failing to be bullied into a pay freeze with no conditions attached. We are willing to negotiate. We are, we are not willing to be dictated to. a guarantee that there will be no frontline jobs cut if we accept a pay freeze. Stopping work is not something that we do or take lightly. There has not been industrial action of this scale by educators and many public sector unions in Tasmania since the mid-1990s, but this issue is too important to do nothing. Mr Hodgman has deliberately chosen to break his promise to Tasmanian parents and students and to cut deep into the heart of our school communities. Mr Hodgman has broken his word and our children will be the losers. We need to let him know that we won't stand for this. Quality education for young Tasmanians is too important to give up without a fight. The workers united will never be defeated. 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 The workers united.